Ephesians 1, 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us, present tense, with all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies in Christ. I dare say one of the greatest needs uh, in the church today is a need to recapture a vision of the Lord Jesus. Uh, there's been a dramatic shift in the public ministry of the Word of God from what we might call Christ-centered ministry to crisis-centered ministry, uh, looking at the problems instead of looking at the answers. Now, the Bible tells us that as a man thinks, so is he. And if you're always thinking about the problem, you become more of a problem. We have never had more Christian videos, tapes, records, seminars, books, radio and television preachers than we have today, and we've never had more problems. Is that right? It seems that there was this distinction made between um, devotional ministry and practical ministry. And people thought that devotional ministry wasn't very practical, you see. We want the stuff where the rubber meets the road. Well, you know, my Bible tells me that the only practical ministry is this. We beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord, were changed into the same image from glory to glory, even by the Lord the Spirit. The way we're changed is not by knowing what our problems are. Like the man lying at the pool for 38 years, his problem was not knowing what his problem was. He knew what his problem was, but he couldn't get in the pool. And the Lord came to him and said, Would you like to be made whole? You know what he thought Jesus said? He thought, he said, can you be made whole? And he said to the Lord Jesus, look, I can't do it. I can't get in the pool. I don't have anybody to help me. Excuse me, sir. I didn't say, can you be made whole? I have all the can. The question is, do you have the will? If you will, I can. And the Lord Jesus, in effect, said to the man, I don't need pools. I don't need means. It's not that I have the answer, it's that I am the answer. He's not just the healer, he's the healant. It's not that he's simply the, the life giver, he is the life principle of Christianity. There is nothing outside of Christ. And so God put every answer to every need in the Lord Jesus. And so when I feel a need in my heart, I go to the Lord, I find out not simply that he has the answer, he is the answer. And I receive the blessing, but I receive the blesser too. And in doing that, in a wonderful way, I actually become like him. And in becoming like him, I am indebted to him. I am devoted to him. I love him more. I have fresh reasons now to love him and to be faithful to him and to obey him and to serve him. And each need that he needs is another indebtedness, another, another expression of his grace. Every time he ministers to me, I discover more and more why God has highly exalted him. And my heart says, Amen. Lord Jesus, you take the highest place in my heart, in my thoughts, in my affections. I agree with God. He deserves that place, doesn't he?